Welcome to the Blue Cafe. We offer stories of infidelity, betrayal, and redemption. Please like and subscribe. Cheers. Now, on to today's story. I cheated on my husband with one of his friends and now I don't know what to do. I want him back my life is terrible without him. I made a huge mistake and now I'm caught in such a ductio situation I don't know what to do anymore. I just want advice but if you're mean I understand I made a huge mistake. This is a long story. Me 23 F and my husband 26 M have been married for around 3 months but we've been together ever since my sophomore year of high school his senior year. We've done everything together, when he went to college we made sure that I would go to the same school, he even turned down a better scholarship to go to a school that I had a better chance of getting into since he was one of the smart kids and I was one of the more average kids, and when he finished he immediately started working so that he could support us and I drop out because he knew I hated school, he works as a software engineer right now leaving company unnamed obviously. Sorry for the long background but I just wanted to show that I do love him with everything in my being and everything he's done for me and I wouldn't give him up for anything. I stay at home and take care of the typical cleaning and cooking and house maintenance, so we have a good relationship and we both put in a lot of work to make sure things stay afloat. Before I get into this, I should say that my physical attraction to him wasn't the same as when we were in college. Ever since he started working he started to work out less and doesn't come to the gym with me as often. He's not fat or anything but it's obvious he doesn't have as much muscle and the things he had early in college like his six pack which he knows I used to love, are long gone. Maybe less working out reduced his testosterone also because the sex isn't as frequent and when we have it, it's not like it used to be. Starting a couple of months ago one of his better friends that I will call David started coming over to hang out. Usually I don't like his friends in our place so frequently but me and David instantly clicked. David and I hit it off and my husband was so happy to see that I finally got along with his friends, but then as usual he ended up going back to work and spending less and less time with me which honestly might have been one of the reasons I cheated. When we were about to get married he promised me we wouldn't fall out of touch like in the movies and that he wouldn't abandon me for work, but that's exactly what I feel like happened. David started swinging by a couple of hours before my husband got home to wait for him comfortably so we started hanging out. We did everything together that I felt like my husband should have taken the time to do with me. We binged Netflix, talked about so much, went out to movies, whenever people saw us they said I looked happier and at that point I think he was. David started swinging by to hang out with me more than my husband so he came earlier and earlier and soon it was just at the beginning of the day as long as he didn't have class he's working on his masters. One morning when he came by and we started to binge Netflix I didn't have as much clothes on as usually because he came at like 9 which was slightly earlier than expected, but I was already so comfortable with him it didn't matter. I only had a big shirt on and some underwear and I didn't even realize until it was too late that I wasn't wearing a bra, so I felt awkward, then David as a joke took off his clothes and only had a shirt and his boxers and climbed into bed next to me saying it was undies time and he was abnormally close but I ended up moving in even closer. He put his hand on my thigh and I ended up moving to sit in between his legs and before I even thought about it he turned me around and he started grinding an erection onto me and I kissed him. I didn't intend for it to go further than that but he was everything that my husband wasn't anymore, he was still built and I could tell he really wanted me more than my own husband had so we ended up having sex. I trusted him of course so we never used protection, throughout that day and he gave me the opportunity to feel ways and do things I hadn't done in so long. I thought I would feel bad right after but I didn't, I was only really excited that I was desired and wanted and satisfied again, me and David continued this relationship for months and I ended up giving him the nickname hubby because I really felt like he was my true husband the way he treated me, but of course he started to get possessive like men do and this is where the huge problems began. Whenever we had sex he wanted my wedding ring off and I ended up losing it and my husband immediately noticed because I made a point of never having it off. 
But that was only the first thing, David told me to stop kissing my husband or really treating him like he was my husband at all. And I did it and I treated my husband like shit because he manipulated me into believing he was a shitty husband and person for leaving me so alone. I went back on birth control and we never used protection because he didn't like it and I never objected because I just enjoyed the feeling of being taken again. I stopped kissing my husband, I put as much distance between us in bed as possible, and I made a point to never have sex with him no matter what. I called him fat and ugly when I got angry or was upset and it just sent my marriage into ruins. David was still around and I guess my husband realized how lovey-dovey I was with David because he started making accusations, and of course David got possessive again so when my husband told him he couldn't come over anymore he sent my husband months worth of the pictures and videos and messages we had made and sent each other as some kind of sick payback. When my husband got home he was infuriated and he screamed and threw things and I had no idea what to do, and I realized that David didn't really care about me as much as my husband did if he was willing to expose me like that. He started yelling about how hard he was working as if I didn't help around the house, and he broke a lot of my personal items. He was crying in the corner and talking about how he wanted to kill himself and I was so scared because he randomly kept lashing out again. He kept asking me questions half yelling half crying about how often and how long it had been going on and I broke down and started crying too and told him everything. He looked at the videos on his phone getting angry again because I told David the first loved him and that he was better than my husband and other things that insulted him. In the videos he saw that we were having sex in our marital bed and that we never used a condom and he always finished inside me and I could see something in him just break maybe because he was my first time back in high school and I didn't let him do any of that until we were married. He kept scratching at his skin and harming himself in weird ways and insulting himself like I would insult him when I got angry and I was scared he was going insane. Thankfully the neighbors called the police due to the yelling, although they took his side a little more than mine and they asked me if I had somewhere else to stay so I don't know if they hospitalized him or not, now I live with my mother and am working part time again, I regret everything. Though I still haven't been able to quite distance myself from David, because I think he really started to care for me once my husband tossed me aside and he's been here for me. David calls me wifey now and it hurts because I really just want my husband back, we haven't gotten officially divorced but he won't talk to me or return my messages or anything at all. If I send a third party there he just tells them to tell me to get a lawyer because he wants to divorce me. I don't know if I'll do well in the divorce since he paid for everything and because of David he has a mountain of evidence on me cheating. I really just want this all to be done and over. What can I do to get him back? And if I don't how will I do in a divorce? Update, after writing this post I was able to get into contact with my husband's sister and apparently he's not doing very well mentally. Apparently he hasn't been eating and has lost a ton of weight, she said all he does is work and sleep and maybe eat every other day. She said I also did nearly unfixable damage to his confidence because now he's afraid to go out in public because he thinks people will see him as a joke. Honestly I don't see how his mental condition is my fault, it's his response and his choice to do what he's doing. She still wants me to sign the papers and is threatening me with the evidence that was sent to him by David. I'm going to hold off on any attempt to get him back until I can assure that he's not going to do anything drastic like on the night he found out. If you love him, let him go. He deserves better than you. Give him the divorce so he can find a decent person rather than a shallow narcissist. I don't know how any of this makes me a narcissist, I admitted that I made a mistake. A mistake, but ha ha girl you ruined this man and you're still doinking the other dude that's not a mistake that's a choice you're still making stop leave this man alone you ruined him. She monkey branched away from her husband and actually thinks she can swing back. That's an epic level of entitlement. So she is still sleeping with her AP just in case it does not work out with her husband. Admission is not enough. It takes remorse and actually caring about what your ex-husband is going through. You've shown proof of neither. 
I'm sorry to say this, but you are 100% at fault here, and I can only hope your ex recovers and finds someone a million times better than you. For you, I hope you don't come to bear his pain one day. You're not even worth the scum of the earth. Honestly I don't see how his mental condition is my fault. You take your ring off while you treat his best friend like the husband, and your husband like trash. Are you serious? You let him record, duck without a condom and let him come inside you every time. He is destroyed for life. And you're still ducking his ex-best friend, his biggest enemy in the world right now and you think you're not to blame for his mental state. Wow. That's not a mistake you made a conscious decision to duck over your husband. And you're still ducking that guy and you come on here asking how to get your husband back oh yeah definite narcissist. Do you even see what you're writing? That poor guy what a ducking nightmare. Ha ha omg you're priceless, what a cool hash tea. The destruction of your marriage is complete. Don't ever try to get back with him, it will be futile. Why? Because every time he sees you, he'll see the pics and vids, not to mention the not so nice things you said to him. He's a wreck, leave him alone. You no longer deserve him. What a waste. Responses to the update, TW suicide. He's not doing very well mentally, no shit. Gee, I wonder why? No brainer here. Get a clue. Apparently he hasn't been eating and has lost a ton of weight, she said all he does is work and sleep and maybe eat every other day. She said I also did nearly unfixable damage to his confidence because now he's afraid to go out in public because he thinks people will see him as a joke. What did you expect? Infidelity is a destroyer of worlds. His world was vaporized in an instant. It's called shock, badly broken heart. For a man, being cuckolded can be a devastating occurrence. In some cases, thoughts of suicide happens all the time. Honestly I don't see how his mental condition is my fault, it's his response and his choice to do what he's doing. You can't be serious. He had no choices. None. He is experiencing responses to a traumatic event, betrayal of the worst sort. That statement alone proves how inept and immature you really are. Clueless to a fault. If you can't see how this isn't your fault, you are a moron. Would he react mentally if you burnt his toast or got into a fender bender? Unlikely. Your actions destroyed his world. He's lost. His mind is going through a million ways, asking why, how and what's next. I'm going to hold off on any attempt to get him back until I can assure that he's not going to do anything drastic like on the night he found out. If you have any sense of decency and compassion, you will not contact him. Let the poor lad go. I guarantee every time he sees you, he'll see the other guy. It'll never, ever go away. As for the other guy, he's a demon on your back. Get rid of him if you want to retain any common decency you have left. Lady, your marriage ship has sunk. You made your bed now you gotta lie in it. You sowed, or rather, were sowed with, your oats, now you gotta reap them. Let me give you advice from two different perspectives. First as a neutral third party and second as a friend. Bitch you're lucky that he hasn't sent you to the hospital in an ambulance. Do you know why he introduced his friend to you and was happy when you and David clicked? because he didn't want you to be lonely while he was working his ass off to provide you with a good life. He gave you an inch, you took an entire mile. You are the kind of woman who do not deserve anyone but David. Your husband wanted you to be happy, unlike David who just wanted to possess you. 2. As a friend, bitch get your priorities straight. Don't hope for a happy reunion. In fact if your husband decides to come back to you, I would advise you to run away because, a, a man who can come back to a woman like you has no self-respect. And a person who has no self-respect cannot love oneself, and therefore cannot love another. b things will never be the same, they will be worse. He won't be able to trust you ever again, and you will always have a massive chip on your shoulder. I hope you have learned your lesson. Now just apologize to your husband, ask him how can you make up for him, if you can, and just get out of his life. 
and hope to God that he will find a woman who will love him as much as he had loved you. I guess you're right, he's always been super forgiving when I make mistakes but I've never seen him in such a manner. But I really do feel like I can fix things if we both just put the work in like we used to. I'm gonna refrain in signing the divorce papers until I'm absolutely sure that this isn't going to work again. What work? You're still seeing David and he's calling you wifey. And he was the one to send those photos. The reason David was hubby to you, is because the guy didn't work. So, may I ask what work? You do realize people are telling him you're still seeing David, right? I don't have anyone else but David right now for emotional support through this whole thing, if he agrees to get back with me obviously me and David will only be friends again. We can go to therapy or talk everything out and try to work on the relationship. Okay, this is a fake story. I'm kinda of feeling better. Thank God. If this is actually real. No one can be this clueless. Ha 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 David and I can be friends. That was really funny. No David and you will need to be dead to each other. He will not get back with you. You're still with him. The only reason David is with you is because he's the other betrayer. No one wants to be with clueless people. Dump David and see how many people might actually support you. You two are toxic that's why no one is supporting you guys. Please let this be fake, you are still hanging around and having sex with David. You are truly clueless. You are immature. Before thinking MC is the answer to everything, please go see an individual therapist. Read your story to them and read your responses to them. And do exactly what they tell you to do. I'll give you a hint, do not contact your ex-husband. Give him divorce. That will come from your IC. MC is hard. They'll tell you to do things that you would not want to do. They'll tell you to actually read books, tons of books. They'll tell you to get a full-time job. They'll tell you to give up everything, no privacy. They'll tell you to do all the heavy lifting. And still at the end a really good MC might actually tell you that this won't work out. MC is not a cure-all. I'm going to be honest. Not mean, third person who's not invested. This is done. Give him his divorce. Sign everything he's going to ask. Get back to school. Dump David. And learn. You will have to live with mom for a while. However, this is finished and I do hope that your ex is getting what he needs. I hope women are all over him and giving him pleasure. And one day a woman will give all her love to him. I don't know. This seems a lot like monkey branching and she sees it as normal. The kind of person who cannot spend a day being single so she thinks that while sleeping with her AP she can win her husband back. I have met people who are out of touch with reality. I'm only still with David because I don't have anybody else. What do you expect me to do? I came here to ask for advice not pointless accusations about how I'm lying and immature. You sound exactly like what my husband was saying and frankly you don't know me well enough to have earned the right to say that like he did. David and I are close and I'm sure he would understand if I want to go back to how things were before. I don't see how I'm toxic when I've already admitted to my mistake. You don't understand me so don't pretend like you know exactly who I am. Oh boy, I'm not being mean. I'm seriously thinking this is a fake story, which gives me some comfort. Listen, I wish nothing but the best for you. I wish nothing but happiness for you. I don't know you, I'm not here to bash on people. I'm not here to tell you to die, go read some of the comments. However, David and you will never be if you want this to go on. Go to the Surviving Infidelity sub and read some of those stories, read what it has done to people. I truly believe you have no idea what you're doing. Which makes me think you're immature. Being immature is not a bad thing. It's not a death sentence, you just need to better yourself. Okay if you want to treat it as a fake story then do so, but please tell me what you would do in my situation if you wanted to get him back once he recovers from whatever is wrong with his mental state since you apparently know everything. He is blocking any chance I have to talk to him and I can't go to his workplace because 1, it looks stupid and make a scene and 2, I need identification to get into the office and I obviously don't work there. 
Honestly, anyone who's here has a story. We all have been in your shoes or your ex shoes. So, read between the lines and understand we all have gone through this. What you're going through or what your ex is going through. So, my advice? Again, for the best of you. Divorce him. Try to talk to him after everything is done. Maybe, just maybe, down the line you guys can date again. If you feel that you love David, maybe you two are made for one another who knows. Your husband right now is finished. Again, go to the other subs and read what BS feel. How, even 2-3-7 years down the line they are still destroyed. I'm sorry you're here and I'm sorry you are hurting. Divorce might be the only thing. One other method, which I caution you. Write a letter and mail it to him. What do you expect me to do? Number 1 Close your legs. Is that really that hard? Will you die without sex for a few months? I would realize that it was wrong of me to want him back after what I had done and had some ducking decency and forced myself to not want him back. It is obviously fake because if not this tramp is the most clueless and stupidest person on the planet. You don't see how you're toxic? You admitted you did everything you could to break this dude and make him feel the worst you possibly could. He looked at the videos on his phone getting angry again because I told David the first loved him and that he was better than my husband and other things that insulted him. In the videos he saw that we were having sex in our marital bed and that we never used a condom and he always finished inside me and I could see something in him just break maybe because he was my first time back in high school and I didn't let him do any of that until we were married. He kept scratching at his skin and harming himself in weird ways and insulting himself like I would insult him when I got angry and I was scared he was going insane. This is any man's worst nightmare and you made it come true, three months into the marriage. And you're still with David so his nightmare continues. You're the worst kind of person. Why do you even want him back? It's obvious he's not satisfying you and you'll just cheat on him. What do you expect me to do? Be single, you absolute ducking hoe. You still haven't learned loyalty to your husband, or the man you want back as your husband, after all that's happened. I really hope you get with David and he does the same to you. Maybe David has a friend you could hang out with. Advice, sign the divorce paperwork, and leave the only good person in this cluster duck alone. Nobody is going to side with you. Nobody believes that what you did, and continue to do, is just a mistake. Grow up hun. If you can. I'm doubtful. I bet your husband knows you enough to say all those things. Dump David go get help. Would your husband be comfortable with you being friends with this man? After? Also does your name start with an Y or an A? I think I may know you. You actually think your husband will get back with you and still let you see David, sign the papers. David it seems doesn't have the ability to ever keep you in the lifestyle hubby can, that's why you want your cake and eat it too. Only friends seriously you are delusional no man would be okay with that what happened last time you were only friends oh yeah there's pictures and videos of your just friends stop leave this man alone you hurt him enough you're selfish more than anyone I've ever seen. Are you trying to kill him, you selfish piece of crap? Don't say you love him because you don't. Sign the ducking paperwork. You are only causing him pain. He gave you everything and you shit on him and pushed him to want to kill himself. If only you cared about him like he did you. You can never fix your marriage if you are still the guy you cheated on him with what makes you think that is a good idea. You have to cut all contact with him. It is the only way it might happen. I don't care if he is your only support. You had a husband and totally messed him up. For selfish reasons. Here we have a man who works hard so his wife can stay at home binge watch Netflix and screw around with a guy who seems to never work. Let this friend of his take videos and instruct you on how to hurt your husband in ways that have killed his heart. You then get back with this guy and then think you can work it out? You are one of the most evil wife I have ever read about. If you want to do right, get a job and pay back your husband every dollar he had given you. Let him go and write him a letter of contrition and a full account of what you did. I just hope you realize what you have done and know that it's wrong. Okay. 
How will you go about it? Then you're even dumber than I thought. How are you going to fix him seeing you having bareback sex where another dude ejaculates in you, his friend even, while telling the other dude that you prefer him over your husband and other insults? You think that's fixable? Seriously? You not cooperating with him is even worse. Not only are you stupid you're also a very bad person. Go duck yourself. How can you fix this you're still porking the other dude you're the one that needs to see some mental health you ruined this poor man and you still don't care enough to stop with the other guy this is sad they should lock people up who think it's okay to do this to people. The sense of entitlement face porn. Why does he have to put in any work? He does not owe you anything. And you did not put in enough work to lie to him for years and cheated with him multiple times. Be honest. Do you really think you have changed after this third or fourth time? And why do you think he should give you a chance? I wouldn't even want anything to do with your girls. Your husband obviously will win the divorce lol. Do anything you like because if your husband has an ounce of self-respect he will be rid of you with the divorce ASAP. Leaving you two to continue enjoying being the pos that you are. The pair of you treated your husband like a miserable dog and you expect to get him back lol. This has to be a troll posting because this is the stuff of fairy tales if you expect that your husband would want anything to do with you in this or any other lifetime. My husband has always been very forgiving so please don't pretend like you know him better than I do. I didn't say I expect to get him back, I say I want to get him back. Though at this point it's unlikely, it doesn't mean he doesn't have self-respect if he takes me back. It just means he would be a kind and forgiving person who realizes that everyone makes mistakes unlike you. My god woman, here is a list of what you posted that you did to your husband. Started an affair with his close friend. Stopped having sex or being intimate in any way with your husband. 3. Had unprotected sex with your AP in your home and the marital bed and let the AP come inside you while videotaping many of these sex sessions. 4. Took photos and videos of yourself in sexual acts and sent them to AP. 5. Mentally abused him by calling him fat and useless many times. 6. Discussed intimate details with said AP about your relationship with your husband. 7. With all of the aforementioned acts you enabled your piece of shit AP to send hundreds of pictures and videos of you and AP engaging in sexual acts to your husband. Who you described as a good man. 8. Hid this from your husband with no intention of telling him about your infidelity until he was blindsided by the pos AP. 9. Then had the gall to continue a relationship with the piece of shit AP after being found out. 10. Then for good measure just to fully make sure we understand what type of person you are. You have the temerity to say that you had nothing to do with your husband's fragile mental state. That absolutely takes the cake. You surely are one piece of work. You stated that your husband is a good man and you want him back. These 10 things I have listed are what you yourself have written in your post that you either did to or behind your husband's back. Simply put, you are a morally bankrupt person who has destroyed your soul's entire life as he knew it. The one you married and made vows forsaking all others with. P.S. Of course I do not know your husband like you stated in your earlier response and never stated that I did. Also I wish to add I have made plenty of mistakes in my life honey, but what you have described are not mistakes my dear. Now I am being patronizing, simply because your understanding of what you have done is simply unbelievable. But if I was a betting person you would be the odds on even money favorite to be divorced ASAP. Wishing your husband all the best in the future which will definitely be North Carolina with you forever. It wasn't a mistake, you intentionally did everything to make David feel like king and your husband like a fat ugly loser. I'm surprised he didn't get violent, most men would if they had to watch their wife getting creampied by their best friend in their marital bed. They don't know your husband nearly as well as you but I guarantee none of them would break him as you have. You are pure evil. You and David deserve each other. Two unemployed, evil, lying, losers. You have the personality of a 13 year old mean girl. Divorce that husband, because you don't deserve him. He needs a grown woman and you are clearly a child.
You are ducking piece of shit. Leave him alone. There was a lack of communication. I am sorry but you ruined your marriage. There's no fixing what you did or said. And even if there was a chance, you're still in contact with David. You still said all those hurtful things and basically gave David all he needed to show your husband he's better because you chose him. And the temptation started when you let David into the house with just you two. It's not rude to have said that. Hey I don't feel comfortable with you here when my husband is working and leave it at that, boundaries. I don't know you or your husband. But I can say. I have been there, I personally have never cheated or thought of it. Marriage isn't easy. Heck I am in my third year of being married and we still are struggling. And he's gained weight. I have gained weight, but we still communicate. Even though he's gone five days a week and I don't see him until night time. It's very lonely, I get it. When you were feeling lonely did you reach out to your husband? And say hey on your day off let's just snuggle and make breakfast or suggest doing something fun you both like. But at the end of the day, you broke him. And I think it would be selfish to keep trying to fix it. He wants a divorce and he should have it. You still are talking with David. I think just cutting contact with David and signing the divorce papers and just focusing on yourself for a while. I know it sucks. Maybe see a therapist. It's stupid I know. But let's say you get into another relationship. Who's to say this won't happen again? Because all marriages go through this. That dry spell. That loneliness stage. Maybe talking to someone. Who won't judge you the way strangers will might help. Yeah I did really duck everything up, maybe I'll try to get help but I haven't absolutely given on in the marriage yet, I feel like, especially if we had professional help, we could talk through this. I personally hope that he gives you not a second chance. Please let him just go his way. You really need to let him have space first. Like let him heal. Let yourself heal too. Forcing it will only make him angrier and resent you. Trust me, when I say help yourself first before, because I am not saying you will do this again. But what happens if you both get back together and then bam five years later you're in the same routine. Him working. You are staying home. Could you give me his number? Because he doesn't need a manipulative person trying to convince him she's worth it when you're not. You really deserve nothing, but the courts still may award something. That's tucked up hey? The winner in this story is David, he had, and probably still has, uni limited raw sex with you, you were his personal porn star videos he sent those videos to husband knowing what would happen, husband is heartbroken and destroyed and you have brought hate upon yourself in the family and made your life worse. Well at least the sex with David was good play stupid games win stupid prizes. WTF did I just read? How can you say you want him back when you're still with the person you ruined everything with? Put yourself in his shoes, imagine how much you destroy everything for him. He loves you, and he did so much for you and you're still with that piece of shit who ruined everything for you. You're honestly a piece of shit too, I don't understand you people, how you could do so much to break the heart of the ones you love. Yeah that's the biggest part of this story that I can't make sense of lol. What am I supposed to do? I don't have anyone else and David is actually being understanding and caring and he's sorry for sending the pictures. I still want my husband back but right now David is the only one giving me the emotional support. What about financial support from David, seeing as you're still sleeping with him? Hell he is probably living with you, give your husband a divorce and marry David? I assuming he probably doesn't have a job or anything as seems to have all the time in the world for you. You've got zero chance of getting back with your husband. You are still trying to keep blaming your husband for your actions. You cuck all your husband for months, he has a breakdown and you can't understand why. I don't even know what to think right now, wish we could talk with him. You should just stick with David, but he probably won't marry you because you're already a confirmed cheater. Boohoo. You still ducking him? Occasionally but I would obviously cut off any sexual relations with him if my husband agrees to continue the marriage. 
damn girl, you are a piece of work. I hope to hear he has beat the shit out of this dude David in the near future. David is one no good pos and you need help. You are hubble. Sign the papers and relieve him of such a selfish human being. Do you honestly think that's how it works? So you want your husband for financial support and you want David for the sex? Yeah you really are cucking the absolute shit out of your husband. The only reason why you won't sign the divorce papers is so that you can let enough time go by so the judge will award you a nice alimony check. Which you'll probably use to spend on the man you really enjoy ducking which is David. You really are something else. I know this because I used to smash greedy B. TC hash dollar like you all the time. That's how I ducked up my roommate's relationship with his girl. The shit PPL I cussed did wasn't cool but I at least grew up and I hope you do too. You are a pathetic person. I cannot believe you are on here wanting your husband back and still ducking this David guy. You are never going to get the husband back. Pathetic. So you want your husband back but you're still ducking the op. This has to be a joke right? You don't give a rat's ass about your husband you selfish w hash. You only care about your own selfish needs. Obviously your mom led the same lifestyle as you. Good luck. LOL. We hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Please comment, like and subscribe. Cheers. Have a wonderful day or night. Wherever you are.